Thanks for watching our video. We'll be showing you all about Pirate Land Family Camping Resort and some of the surrounding things to do, as well as some aerial shots of the beach and park. So stick around and check it all out. First, let me start off with a few photos from our trip last year in 2019 when the weather was actually great. You can see the blue water and powdery sand. This year, though, uh, we managed to pick a week in June with very unusual weather. Temps in the 60s and lots of wind and rain every day. So the water was really churned up and looked a bit dirty, which is not usually the case. Anyway, last year our little girl was with us, but she was uh, SIB at the time. This year we decided to take her back so she could see the place for herself. Want to go swimming? Pirate Land is one of a few large RV resorts in the Myrtle Beach area located along with the locals called the Grand Strand. We like this campground so much that we decided to come back to the same place. It has nearly 1,500 sites, 800 transient sites for RVers, all of them with 30 and 50 amp service, water, sewer, electric, cable, and Wi-Fi included. Uh, it has a lot of amenities, so we, uh, we think this is a really nice place. It has a nice front office with friendly staff. There is a large staging area when you first arrive. Attendants will direct you where to park. There's a grill, ice cream shop, arcade, store, and laundry mat, all located centrally near each other, uh, close to the pool area. Various play areas as well. There's also a heated indoor pool, which we didn't visit, which we had remembered that. Golf cart rentals are available. No personal golf carts for transient guests. There are a few different food trucks that also set up shop in a reserve spot throughout the week. It has uh, Cooper's cabins available for rent. There are two main areas for transient RVers. Uh, there's a wooded area, which is very nicely shaded with mature growth trees. The other area is the beach area, or the beach side, which you'll see in the aerial videos. They also have vacation rentals. Uh, for rent throughout the year. The park boasts a very large splash pad, which is really nice. We didn't visit it too often while we were here since it was a bit chilly though. It also has a really nice lazy river, which we used a lot last year. There's also a large pool, which can fit a lot of people. And miniature golf. There are also over a hundred golf courses near the Myrtle Beach area if you're looking for longer fairways. There are several small fishing lakes around the park as well. Our site was on the beachfront road called Pirate Land Trail. You can see it's a pretty large site. There's a good amount of room between us and the rig next to us with a covered picnic table area. Plenty of room. Not too many of the uh, concrete pads though, so we were lucky to get one of those. But as you can see, we have a really good view here. I will have to warn you, there's a nightly golf cart parade, which can be fun, but it does get really loud, so it may not be great for kids or jumpy dogs. It does end very promptly at 11 p.m., the quiet time. 
luckily our girl could sleep through just about anything with her trusty sound machine, so uh, just keep that in mind. The park is dog friendly. I don't think this killer was going to be a problem, but uh, just make sure you bring your leash with you. And now it's time to fly. Thank <laughs> you. 
There are lots of uh, great restaurants and shopping in the area. Our favorite breakfast place, hands down, is the Omega Pancake House. Also, our favorite dinner place is Krabby Mike's Seafood Buffet. They have a Calabash-style seafood and crabs. We visited both of those places twice. On our last trip, we visited Mike's twice, and then this trip, we visited Omega Pancake House twice while we were there. It was so good. So, anyway, some other cool stuff to do in the area is the boardwalk and promenade. That's about eight minutes up the road. Also, about 10 minutes up the road is the Broadway at the beach. There's tons of stores and restaurants. Also, they have a Ripley's Aquarium there. This will definitely remind you of the island in Pigeon Forge. There's a Paula Deen's restaurant that we had lunch at with a really great fried chicken, by the way. We normally like the breakfast at Paula Deen's, which is uh, unbeatable in my opinion. It's amazing, but unfortunately they weren't serving breakfast this time we were there. But anyway, it was, uh, it was a pretty fun time visiting this area. Yeah, there's me with the uh, shaky cam. I didn't bring a gimbal for my handheld, so apologize about that. Just bear with it. It's definitely not as smooth as the aerial videos. One of the great things about having the Ripley's Aquarium there in the area is our girl really loves going to aquariums, so we spent a good amount of time there uh, when the weather was a little bit bad later on that day we were here and uh, we spent a couple of hours in there. Well, that's about it for this video. There is a ton more things to do and see you all in Myrtle Beach. Thank you for watching and please click the like, subscribe, and bell buttons for future videos.